Welcome Call of Duty fans, Pepper64 here, giving you some tips and tricks in Call of Duty Black Ops. The spray and pray, or the more politically correct term, hip fire, is a technique used in close quarters engagements. The idea is simple, really. When facing multiple opponents in a close quarters firefight, it is better to hold down the right trigger and unleash a stream of rounds downrange without wasting precious time aiming down the sights. Used properly, the spray and pray can be used to effectively take down multiple enemies at one time. Since this technique requires the player to be somewhat close to the opponent, the effective weapon classes to choose from is simply the submachine guns. Submachine guns such as the MP5K Uzi and the AK-74U perform best in close quarters firefights. Its high rate of fire and small hip fire targeting reticule makes it ideal for spray and pray. Submachine guns benefits its users with extra speed and maneuverability, perfect for getting in close with the enemy. With that said, there are certain person weapon attachments that will greatly increase the lethal potential of your spray and pray. Steady aim reduces the crosshairs by 35%, allowing a tighter group and shot placements when firing from the hip. This tighter spread is perfect for players who prefer to get in close with the enemies. With this perk equipped, you might be surprised at the distance you take out opponents, only through hip fire. Steady aim also increases the lethality of other weapon types such as the shotguns and assault rifles when using the spray and pray technique. Shotguns benefit greatly when hip-firing, allowing the shotgun shots to leave the barrel at a tighter grouping. With the Steady Aim perk, shotgun rounds become even more deadly at close-range firefights, with the Steady Aim perk has given it more range and accuracy. Assault rifles and LMGs, on the other hand, do not perform as well as the submachine guns or shotguns within close quarters. However, using the spray and pray technique will allow these guns a fighting chance during surprise engagements with the enemy. A simple variant of the spray and pray is called the pre-fire. Pre-firing is a term used to round a corner, guns blazing to take out any opponents nearby. Extended magazines help greatly improve your chances when using this tactic as it increases the amount of rounds you can put down range. Speaking of which, LMGs hold the greatest amount of ammunition out of all the weapon classes. However, due to its size and bulkiness, LMGs work best at long range where players can provide an overwatch to their team. LMGs take the longest time to aim down the sights and its bulkiness would often prove fatal to the user during close quarters engagements. To combat this weakness, LMGs can benefit greatly using the spray and pray technique as well as pre-firing. Since LMGs hold the most amount of ammunition, players can easily overpower their opposition using raw firepower. Last but not least, spray and pray can prove to be the deciding factor when using semi and burst fire weapons. Semi-automatic and burst fire weapons excel in the upper ranges of accuracy with the exception of the sniper rifles. However, accuracy is sacrificed with fire rate as these single and burst shot weapons would severely handicap you in close quarter situations. Likewise, using the spray and pray technique and hip firing is often your best bet in staying alive. Instead of taking your time to precisely fire each individual round or burst, spamming the trigger button and getting as much lead in the air will be your best ticket in staying alive. Let's take a look at that play again. In this clip you can see the perfect setup for a burst fire weapon such as the G11. With a long line of sight and adequate cover, this position in the map will almost guarantee easy kills. Unfortunately, it is here that the spawn flip occurs, spawning multiple enemies to the rear. In this situation, we are forced with a 7-on-1 firefight equipped with the G11. Fortunately, this is where the spray and pray technique plays in, and with the steady aim perk, I was able to fire off precise accurate bursts to efficiently take down the enemy. Just like the name implies, the spray and pray technique involves a little bit of luck. Not all bullets register on the target when using this technique, and if players plan to use this move exclusively, be prepared to constantly watch your kill cam as you are taken out by enemies with a longer reach advantage. There are times where it's best to fire from the hip, but rest assured the most precise and efficient way to take down your foes is to take the time and line up your sights in order to put a well-placed shot on your designated target. Once again, this is Pepper64 signing out. Good night.